how to scale your business, how to use technology, marketing, sales to scale your business. So about me, I'm a real estate investor, I'm a syndicator, I'm a broker associate, and I'm a digital creator. So in this time period into scaling your business, we're gonna take a look back at the last two years of what we've been accomplishing. But to start off, things you wanna know about scaling your business, you really need to identify your mission, your vision, your values. People talk about this all the time, but what are you doing for your business? What is your real mission, your vision, and your values? And I ask my new and seasoned agents the same thing. Here's an example of mine. Our mission is to empower and uplift real estate professionals like you. Our goal is to help 10,000 agents become successful in real estate. And to do that, we want to create simplistic and value-driven results and show you guys how to do it. Does that make sense? Is that driven? Does that show you exactly what we want to do to help everyone grow their business? It does. So one of the main principles that I focus my businesses on is the 80-20 rule. All of us have heard it, all of us know it, do all of us do it. Question is, how many of us focus on the 80% of the 80% versus the 20%? You wanna raise your hands? Probably a lot of us still do it, right? We know we should really be always focusing on the 20% that drives the 80% of the business, but we get sidetracked by everything else because we wanna be busy, we don't wanna be productive. That's why we wanna always teach how to stay productive. Really, to do this, you have to identify and understand what you want to do. And when you start identifying your skill sets, you start prioritizing it and looking at the results that you want to get achieved, you really do become successful. So the, the way we do that is called DEAL. Define, eliminate, automate, and leverage. So defining, defining your highest use and best time. So in real estate, what's our best use of time? Networking, prospecting, calling, talking to people, talking to agents, talking to community, learning what's on market, off market, seeing houses. Is our best time on social media, making videos, uh, posting, reading commentary, watching TV? Not so much, right? So really define the best use of time. Is it doing transaction coordination, paperwork? No, it's not. So what do we want to eliminate? Pretty much everything. We don't want to do any of this stuff. We should do what we love and do best. You might like making social media posts, but that might not be the best use of your time. After that, you start eliminating, you wanna start automating. And automation is a form of just making everything simplistic, making it easy, making it fast, making it so that you have a process to really drive results, and then liberating it. What do I mean by that? Delegating everything you just said that you wanna to do to someone else and teach them how to do it. So if you can teach them how to do it, it takes it off your plate because how much is your dollar per hour worth? Is it $10 an hour, 20, 50, 100, 500? If you know it's 500, why are you doing a $10 hour job? You really shouldn't be, right? We gotta get rid of it. So the path to scaling your business is really learning how to become a leader. And that takes a lot of time, a lot of energy. When you start becoming a team leader, a CEO of your business, you start focusing on the real values that you're providing, such as vision and leadership professional strategies, effective financials to manage your p ls creating a business roadmap that you're gonna follow and execute with your team, planning. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? And then a business backlog is where you're putting all your ideas and you're iterating the process and really working towards building that goal. So what do we eliminate? Everything, right? Administration, ideally the main person responsible for running your business and helping you execute your ideas and help you reach your goals. So for example, my administration team, they do everything for me. I pretty much don't do anything anymore except focus on the leadership skills and parts where I can help grow the team. And we'll talk about that. And the transaction coordination, the listings, the purchases, the contracts, disclosures, the social media, the scripts, all done by my team. Content writing and design and editing, that's your creative team. In your creative team, you have to have people who help you write your video scripts, help you, help you with your MLS, your descriptions, your content, your social media posts. How many of you guys see me have my posts every single day online? Probably a lot, right? It's always being posted every single day. Right now, I'm not there, it's being posted right now. Design, so you need designers. Like, not all of us are creative designers. It takes a lot of work and energy. Should you be designing or should you be selling and helping people with clients, helping your clients? And editing. Not all of us are great video editors. 
shoot the video. I have great guys here, like InDesign Sky Homes right here. They're shooting all the content, right? So they shoot all the content, all this content from all of us speakers get here. It goes to the editors, the editors cut everything up. My social media people write all the descriptions and they post everything. See how much work I'm spending on my time to do it? Not much, right? All right, social media consumption. How many of us are surfing Instagram all day liking every single photo? A lot, reading everything, going from there, right? So stop, stop consuming and start creating. And like we talked about, transaction coordinators. They're worth your weight in gold. Let them prepare and handle everything. Funny story, I haven't written a contract for almost two years. I actually forgot my license number. How's that, right? What do you mean? They can't write it. Yes, they can. My assistants help me write my transactions, my listings, my purchase contracts, my disclosures. They tag everything. All I do is tell them, hey, uh, transaction coordinator, I have a purchase price for $7 million. Uh, 30 day, 21 day close, no contingencies, disclosures fully signed, prepare everything, send it. What they do is they prepare all of it for me. It's Everything's set, here's the contacts. I look at it, I look at it, I press send because it's my responsibility still, but I don't write it. I make sure everything's good. I may make a few tweaks based on additional terms. Other than that, they handle it. And it goes into a transaction to, cl to close. Does that sound fun? Would you guys like to get rid of all your TC work? So scaling your business, CEO, team leader. You have administration team, you have writers, editors, designers, and a marketing specialist. You don't need only one assistant, you need many assistants. And guess what? They don't have to be a full-time employee. They can be all VAs, they can be one hour a week, five hours a week, 10 hours a week, 40 hours a week, it's up to you. You really have to just learn to be a leader and take control and manage your projects. This is how you really create your goal to your growth. Startup, growth, acceleration, financial freedom, and then time freedom. How many of us want to be financially free? All of us, right? How many of us want to be time free so we can do anything we want? We don't go to a basketball game, we don't go play sports, go travel across the country? Yeah, we do, right? And that's part of creating time freedom. So here's things your administration team can do. Admins can deal with client relations, transaction management, project management. Writers can help you with digital print, scripts, templates, videos, and podcasts. Design and editors can help you do your digital print designs, social media designs, your video podcast, and your marketers can help you with researching, posting, scheduling, and analyzing. You don't build a business. You build people, then people build the business. You guys get it? You need to, if you are really active in real estate sales, you're, you're growing, you're not just a new agent, just starting. I get it, we all start somewhere. But as you keep building, learn to scale fast and learn to delegate as much as you can so you keep focusing on doing the next step so you can build it quicker. So a part of that too is, here's an example. In the last two years, I went from owning my own brokerage, 14 agents, to now going to EXP with 70 agents now. We, I also am a real estate syndicator. I have 558 units in Texas now with my general partner team. And on the passive side, I have another 3,100 units. That's over 3,600 units. We're buying another 300 units within the next two months. And that's for syndications and raising money, building up the investment side of the portfolio. Sales side, last year I did 25 million part-time in sales. Thank you for my, my clients and relationships with that through social media. The social media, the podcasting, all those postings, gave me all the referral business to close all those deals. The video, the listing videos that these guys make for me every single time help me get the next listing. It shows them what I do, what my team does, and how we help you sell your property for top dollar. That matters a lot. And then on top of that, you know, family, kids, travel, volunteer for schools and helping everything there. And then so much more that we've done, but this is only being able to be done because of the team involved. My, I myself, one agent, has over seven assistants at different levels of hours per week. So don't worry about 40 hours per week times seven. It's not that. It could be from five, 10, 15, 20, 40. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed that.